I want to talk about the Reserve Bank essential of uh, South Africa in just a moment. I want to begin with your role as the chairman of that policy advisory committee to the IMF at the moment. You bring together those finance ministers, the central bankers as well. Any concerns about financial stability right now, looking at where markets are worldwide? Well, there have been issues uh, about global financial uh, stability. And some of this stuff we, we discussed at our uh, October, uh, October meeting. But in various other forums, uh, these things uh, are coming through. And amongst those is the rise in uh, dollar-denominated uh, debt in uh, uh, emerging markets, and uh, some of which had come from, uh, uh, from corporates. Um, and it also has to do with the fact that monetary policy in the advanced economy uh, became looser than what uh, people expected it, uh, expected, expected it to be. And uh, it looks like there might be some binging on a cheap uh, a dollar debt, and uh, it is at all-time highs, and that has tended to be a, 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 a concern with respect to financial stability. The second thing that uh, uh, is worrying from a financial stability uh, perspective had been that amongst the issuers who had uh, come through, they have been able to get away with covenant light uh, a debt, and at some point or the other, uh, they, they are going to exp uh, experience constraints, and that uh, could be a source of, uh, uh, of vulnerability. So, Governor, many people listening to this, taking a look at this interview at the moment, will be sitting here and thinking, well, that's the role of the central bankers. Isn't it their fault that we have this situation in financial markets right now? It's a situation we've been talking about for a long time. I'm wondering what the policy prescription is. What is it? Well, it depends on where the source is. Uh, and at the moment, the focus amongst uh, central bankers has been to focus on what we called the core of the financial uh, system, which is uh, the, the, that component of the financial system that uh, got impacted by the global regulatory reform. Yeah. And without a doubt, that component of the global financial uh, system is more resilient than we had seen in the run-up to 2008. <clears throat> and naturally... Uh, it looks like activity had moved elsewhere uh, to the periphery, and that is where the source of concerns, uh, concerns would be. Mm. Well, the point here is that the tools are within the hands of the national authorities, whether it's the central banks or the treasuries, and not at a global level. And these things have been raised at a, a right. global level. And when you look at different countries, you may find that different countries face different uh, challenges, and you would find that. In the discussions of the IMFC, we would tend to say that those countries that are facing the following situation must do the following. Those with space must utilize the, the space, and those without the space yeah. must actually start some process yeah. of consolidation. Uh, Governor, there's a raging debate among the developed nations, of course, within the United States and other major central banks about the efficacy of monetary policy. Give us an update within South Africa. We're moving rates around. Does it have effect on the economy? Does it have a, is monetary policy an effective tool for you? Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, it is. If it wasn't, we wouldn't be using it. Uh, and uh, we have used it uh, uh, quite effectively. Uh, I think that as a small open economy, we do not have the problems that the developed world has where monetary policy is at the zero uh, lower bound. We right. still have the flexibility to how, be able How to charming. That's a, good, uh, that's a good flexibility, uh, some would uh, say. Uh, to do things. Uh, but then our focus still for, uh, for us yeah. uh, is on price stability. And uh, we had been adjusting policy uh, to deal uh, with... Uh, uh, with uh, the challenges of, uh, uh, of price stability. But in the process from uh, July last year as uh, South Africa, we had actually seen um, resilience in terms of the stability of uh, uh, domestic, uh, uh, domestic prices, and that had actually given us the room to adjust, uh, to adjust policy. Governor, I've got to jump in because we've got 30 seconds left. I need to fit this in. It was a 25 basis point rate cut. We're now scheduled to have another one, perhaps two, later in this year. How close was the call just to go with 50 basis points? There was no argument about uh, having a 50 basis No point. argument at all? Uh, uh, last year in November... Just quickly, yeah. Uh, our our modelling showed that we needed to do 25 basis points in the, fourth quarter, in the third quarter of this year. The modelling at the time of the current meeting... Yep was uh, for two 25 basis points, one in the first quarter and one in the fourth quarter. Governor, okay. and we've one got to leave it there.